Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week's video is going to be on my experience at Fashion File. I went there today and I got an item. And I just wanted to talk about my experience. I had gone there like a previous time and they said it was like an hour and a half wait. So I didn't get to shop that day. And I ended up not really being into the bag that I wanted to look at. And then I recently got into, I don't know, I I feel like I have a lot of Louis Vuitton canvas, so I was like, I just want something different. And I was looking, and I really fell in love with, like, the Balenciaga City Totes. So that's what I got, and I'm just going to talk about my experience. So I'll, like, insert some photos over here. I took, like, very few. Um, I was going to film but there wasn't many people when I went, so I felt like it would be a little more awkward if I like quietly <laughs> filmed. Um, but yeah, I'll talk about the experience. So I called, I think either, I think it was like Wednesday, or Tuesday or Wednesday of the same week, and I was like, hi, I would like to make an appointment. So if you want to make an appointment, I recommend making an account. You can do that by going like fashionfile.com and then like you log in you can log in through google facebook or anything so i created an account um plus you get to like um follow up when bags get like discounted and stuff so i would recommend if there's something you're eyeing um if you don't live close to fashion file which i don't it's about an hour and a half away that's how long it took me to get there so um we kind of like planned a trip for it but if you don't live t closer to um, a fashion file, the only way to shop is kind of online. But they have a really great um, return policy or exchange, um, depending on the item. So the lady over the phone gave me like a brief summary of like what the appointment was, because I told her it was my first time actually shopping at the boutique. So that was that. And then when I got there, it was a little bit different. So when you get there, they like have like really nice front desk and then like little seating areas to the side and then two like chairs right next to the desk. And you check in there with the lady and you're like, oh, I have an appointment. I know they take walk-ins, but when I tried to walk in, they told me it was an hour and a half of a wait and I didn't feel like doing that. So we did our other things that day. But today um, I made an appointment at 11.30 a.m. And honestly, there wasn't so many people. When we got there, was there was like maybe three or four more people. And then by the time it was like my turn and my appointment, it was honestly just me and this other lady with her daughter. Um, I took Ben. So yeah, so what happens is, is they give you an iPad, you log into your account, so make sure you know your email that you used or your um, password. I would recommend like not logging in with like your Facebook or your like email account because I don't know like how it is on iPad because I know it saves your stuff. Um, so I wouldn't like log into my Facebook. Not that I think they would do anything, but just like for privacy reasons. Um, I just log in. I logged in. And if you forget um, and you remember your email, you can reset the password. And it's actually like really quick. I did that because I could not remember my password. But yeah, so what happens is they gave you the iPad. They, the lady told me beforehand, she's like, put bags in your cart and make sure that it's set for this location because you can set it for the location. And I set it for Carlsbad because that was the location I went to. And I put five bags. You can see up to 10 at a time in the showroom. They bring them out to you and they have like a little elevator conveyor belt um, where like the bags will come down from the stock room and the lady will then bring it to you and they have a long table where you can look at them and they're honestly really nice they're like look like you know like take your time like don't worry because i was kind of like apprehensive because i never shopped there and i know like luxury stores sometimes they're like a little bit more like mm, like oh don't do that or this so i was kind of trying to see how the experience was and there was really nice so i was like oh like can i take out like um the paper like the stuffing in the bag and she's like oh yeah like you can put your stuff in it like try it out like just take your time like there's no rush like you're perfectly okay so I thought that was really cool that like it just felt very personal 
so here is my item and I love this they don't give you like um, they give you reusable totes which I think is really nice and environmentally friendly so here is the original dust bag that comes with my item mine had the dust bag it is Balenciaga this dust bag is like a little bit dirty but that's not like the biggest deal I got such a good discount on this item um, so yeah and then here is the fashion file bag they had like the fashion file like nail files and like pencils but like I don't know I just didn't feel like grabbing them so yeah um oh here's the receipt it comes like this which I think from like unboxings I've seen of people do a fashion file it looks a lot like this okay so yeah it has the receipt and then it says like fashion file there's Beverly Hills San Francisco San Diego New York and then shop sour repeat cash for your bag we want this bag back so like they would take this bag back I think certain bags they don't I'm not entirely sure and then they give you like that they certify that it's an authentic 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 bag sorry and then here is the actual receipt it's just like a printout paper um, telling you the price if there's none of my credit card information I will show you this probably not my order okay. so this is like what the receipt looks like I don't know how well this will show up because it's not like super dark printing so it shows like the picture of the bag and then it shows you like the total if there's a discount um a bag i got had 10 percent off and then like they put tax and shipping i didn't have to pay shipping fees because i went there and i kind of liked it because i like to like look at things before i buy them so that's just me so i really wanted to go in person and their dust bags are pretty nice quality i actually really like it so this is the bag I got. This is, let's say the full name on here, the Balenciaga and Angelila Angelou Classic City in C Sigel. Sigel, I think is the color. I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's just this really pretty brown color. And the leather like looks worn. Honestly, like the hardware and stuff is in good condition. There's like the tiniest little scuffs. But honestly, they're not a big deal. Because this bag kind of looks worn. And I think it's kind of the style. So here is their tag that if I remove this, it is mine. I'm going to remove it later. I just wanted to keep it to show you guys like the whole process and talk to you about it so um they have these on the bags like when you looked at them so just to keep that in mind um and the leather is still really nice i mean it really depends on the bag you looked mine came with everything the zippers are really nice it has the balenciaga mirror it's like really fancy about this bag i think it's really cool yeah, it was really nice because honestly, they just kind of like left you alone to like look at them. Like they're there like if you need assistance, but they kind of just like let you like have your time, like try it out. They're not like hovering over you like a sales associate. So I really liked that. I honestly, it was like a really nice review. And then this was how the bag was stuffed. They just used like bubble paper, which I kind of like because um, I had saved some bubble paper that I got from a package. Cause I was like, oh, like if I get it. I want to keep it like nice because this bag is like since it's leather it's really gushy but I really like the style so this bag had everything that it was supposed to come with minus like the box um, but it has this strap this strap is not adjustable and I don't know if like I'm fully like in love with the strap I like it more like handheld or like on the crook of your arm 
but it's not bad it's like a great option if you kind of need to be a little bit more hands-free but I really like the look of it and I thought this would be a great bag to transition to fall so here is the little handle detailing I really like and then honestly the inside was completely clean so in case you couldn't see how much I paid for this bag originally it was listed for five hundred and fifty dollars if I remember correctly I think it retailed for like eighteen hundred and seventy five dollars so that was a very large discount and I even looked up on eBay how much this exact bag would be and it was going for like just under a grand and the previous day I wanted to make sure I came on Friday because Thursday this bag went down by like 10% so it ended up being $495 before tax so I got $55 off and then tax was $38 and 36 cents so in total I paid five hundred and thirty three dollars and thirty six cents which was really nice um, like a really nice discount like this style bag is like I feel like I don't see like Balenciaga city bags that often in like my area um, but I really I don't know I looked at this bag and I honestly fell in love and I looked at a, like I honestly looked at like five other ones while I was there because I was like I really want to get this style of bag so I did and I really I'm really happy with it I think this experience is honestly way better than how I purchased like my normal Louis Vuitton handbags from the original luxury store um I would say that fashion file is a luxury store because it's very nice it looks very clean it's exactly like a luxury store except they just have all different brands um and it was cool because like people the people that were before me they're getting like quotes on bags like that they wanted to like sell to fashion file and like just watching like people go through the experience so yeah it was really cool then here is like the plate and then the date code is underneath with like the made in italy and stuff like that just like really nice all the zippers are like super great it has this like tag in here I don't know if this is like Valenciaga's tag or their tags I'll have to look that up um I'm not too knowledgeable on the tag but from what I've seen this is authentic I don't think it's not and it's just really nice quality zipper zip well the um leather things aren't really dirty honestly there was another bag that was dirtier that i looked at um and they listed it for more but it was like way discounted because no one bought it and this one was posted originally for less and this one is in way better condition i don't know if because like the scuffs like they consider it like really bad wear but if you look at this bag like the texture and the look of the leather is really worn and i really like that style I don't know if it's intentionally supposed to look like it but it just looks really good there is like little corner wear but honestly like the color of the bag it's not that noticeable I guess for like a reseller it's probably why they list it for a lower price um, but honestly I'm pretty good with my bag so I'm not too worried I probably um I'm I know they clean them because I've watched videos but I think I'll probably like clean the inside just like I'm more comfortable putting my stuff in but I would highly recommend fashion file the experience was so nice the people were so kind honestly it was a way better experience than a luxury store I've had some really bad experiences even with store managers being very rude and fashion file was very nice so I would vouch and say that they seem to be a really nice company and I will be cutting cutting the tag so yeah thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments about fashion file or any other things about it feel free to comment down below i'm i love to answer back to you guys so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video bye